Morning everyone, how are we? Hope you're okay. Nice to see you again for another stream. A nice and early stream. Um, we're doing an early one because we're going to do a video around midday. So just, I don't know, we'll probably stream just around 12-ish. Just after 12 maybe. And then um, I'm going to do the video that I did last Tuesday. So get a bit more impression before we do it. Do some more daily race C's. And um, see how it is. We are racing from the, well, we've set a lap time. I'm going to just keep trying to set a faster lap time, to be honest. We're running time trial now because this this time trial is annoying. It's got different, I think it's got different wind speeds and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's just about trying to find them correct conditions again, which is kind of frustrating. But it's how it is. It's same for Daily Race B as well, chat. The wind direction changes. So, it's luck of the day, a lot of it. Um, hope you're all good, by the way. Yeah, the wheels was fine last night, Arnold. We had no issues. <clears throat> the wheel was working perfectly fine all last night. So hopefully that what we did yesterday fixed it and it should be all good now. So yeah, fingers crossed. Thank you all for coming into the stream, by the way. Appreciate you turning up. Get that early like in there straight away. Helps me out massively. Thank you so much to all the people that smashed it before we even went live as well. Thank you for taking the time to do that. Um, right, what are we doing? Load up a ghost. Let's load this up. <coughs> oh. Right. Let's start this. We don't want to use that view, do we? Oh, we, we could do it some ABS on as well. Let me just sort that out. One second. All right. Uh, ABS default. We don't want that on. See if we can um, get back up to speed. Better start to the lap there. Look how he sends it into that corner, doesn't he? Oh, I sent it there. to lift right on the exit there that'll lose you all but that's the most important corner on this whole lap <coughs> that corner there is the most important corner on your on the whole any corner out of this track because if you don't get that right you lose all the way up this straight so you lose so much lap time by messing that one up Drifting. Ugh. You're right, Dominican man. Ah, oh, shit. Not a great one. I mean, there's a lot of time left in that. It's a 57 though on our first lap. We've got so much time left in us here. Right, let's start that lap again. <laughs> Looking at that, we should be able to get a very low 57.
morning, Demo. <laughs> Sorry, Bernie. <laughs> Carried the speed the same on this, this exit here, a bit lower. Yeah, a bit behind there. Tried to keep it planted through there. Definitely think I can go faster than I thought on this time trial, though. Yeah, we um, we sorted. We were stre we streamed last night, Bok, mate. We were live last night. We had we had no issue once we sorted it in the morning stream as well. Once we got it sorted in the morning stream, it was all good. But it seems, it seems to be working fine now. Ugh. They absolutely send it on that corner, don't they? Would have kept it planted a bit more there. Have to lift, yeah. <clears throat> that one corner, you got to really try and send it through there. <clears throat> we undone the clamp and took the wheel off, pushed it in as much as we physically could, and then um, retightened the clamp back up, and then obviously put the wheel back on, and everything's been fine since, no issue at all. So apparently the shaft becomes a little bit loose, but it didn't feel loose, but. I pushed it in as hard as I could, re retightened the clamp up, and everything seems good now. That's too aggressive. Went in too fast. One more go before I don't. Oh, we might not get this lap in. <coughs> no, we won't. We won't get this one in. What am I doing there? To be fair, it's still under warranty anyway, Shell, so I wouldn't have had to buy a new one for this anyway. It's under warranty. Well, it should, it's, it's got, I think it's warranted until February. Ah, uh, that, that was a corner cut, wasn't it? Yeah, I've got dirty tyres, so. <coughs> oh well, we'll start from wherever we start anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've got a spare. I've got a CSL to back up. So, if worst case scenario, if I ever had to send this, I kept my CSL. So I obviously make sure that I've got something to use if I have to use another wheel. So the CSL is behind my monitor there. So yeah, worst case scenario, I can still. I, I've got something to race with. <laughs> Morning, Flash. Me, yeah, I, I, I've, I've had like a weird, um, it's the morning as well, I'm tired, <laughs> but um, I've had like a weird cold, not a cold, like a, a very small, it's not even like bothered me much, just like <clears throat> little tiny cold for like about five, nearly a week now. It's just one of them irritating ones that's just taken ages to piss off. So once, hopefully it'll be gone soon.
I definitely think we can go faster than what I thought on there. I thought I'd only be able to do a low 57, but that lap there makes me think 56s might be possible. <coughs> All right, let's... Um... See what we can do. Let's see if we can get a win first race. Or try to. Don't know where to go. Nah, we'll, we'll just go for it. I was thinking of going to the back, but I need to improve the R on this account, so might as well go for a win. No, the, the races are too way too long this week, John. You probably pull on the wheel. I pull on the wheel when I'm racing. You probably pull a bit on the wheel. I, I do that naturally. I think a lot of people do. That's why people have the issue with that. Um, it happening with the shaft on it. You, you naturally, when you're racing and gripping quite tight, you probably pull a little bit without knowing. Bend it behind us, sir. And again. Bit of a gap there, he'll close in on us on the street a little bit. swing you need to get into that corner gains your loads on the exit shouldn't have any different um, vibration for your wheel when turning different ways left or right that shouldn't be a thing it 
should be equal on either side, really. I gained a bit through there behind us. Oh, that wasn't great, was it? Oops, slidey, you have to take a bit of grass. I do think this track is just about getting like really used to using the full width of the track. It's literally the same, same Croy type of track. <clears throat> it just reminds me of St. Croix the more I drive it because you have to really exploit the angles into corners to find pace. It's really wide corners as well. It re it's like so similar the way you have to drive it. Break a bit later on that one. <laughs> it shouldn't really be an issue, that to be honest. If you thought you. you there's something not right with your wheel if it's doing that, I'd think. It's a better first sector, isn't it? P2's pulling away from P3 here as well. <clears throat> this is actually a good lap. A bit wide there though. And there. That's not bad for us. <laughs> not bad at all. Finding pace, that's a good thing.
Yeah, we all sorted, Marcus. We fixed it yesterday. It was just the shaft needed, it was just needed um, the main shaft on the, the connects it, just needed pushing in a bit and then re tightening back up on the clamp. Apparently, it's quite a common issue. <clears throat> it's not hard to solve it though, it, it was pretty easy to solve it in the end. This corner really annoys me because I feel like you can break later. Take a slightly wider line, but when you do break too late, it just understeers like crazy. Tire wear is starting to kick in a bit now. Oh, that's too slow through there. Way too slow through that one. <laughs> yeah, kinetic. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, too early for that, mate. It's too early for them ones. <laughs> they're they're um, evening streams only, please. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> Morning, Paul. <coughs> yeah, exactly, Gaza. <laughs> Just needed to push that shaft a bit harder. Slow for the front tire and the fade in a bit now. <clears throat> You're right, Peter, by the way. How are we all anyway? Nice and early on this Tuesday morning. By the way, triple content today, everyone. So, yeah. The verdict will be out on these races. I've got to, I've, I've copied all the files over. I've just got to do all the editing. So once we finish this, straight away back into work mode on editing. And then we'll be live again later on. Probably do some American daily races from the back. I think American daily races might actually be pretty decent on here from the back of the grid on both races, the daily B and C. Won't be a three out of ten, no. <laughs> we actually had some pretty alright, pretty alright races yesterday. On all of them, it's just 
<clears throat> I don't know. I think if they were more competitive, they'd be better as well. Like this one, this one now, obviously, it's, it's early in the morning, so it's not going to be that competitive, but still. Still need to set a proper lap time on Daily Race B as well, don't I? I haven't done one on that yet. I mean, we did a lap, but it wasn't particularly good. Yeah, that right front is starting to lose us a bit of lap time now. You can feel it. Under steering. Ooh. See you later, box speed, mate. <coughs> oh, God, understeer. Massive understeer there. Alright, try Lando, how are you, mate? Slow down. Too late on the brakes. Oh, it messed me up all the way through there. <coughs> and keep it smooth for the last two laps now. Don't want any silly mistakes. a good battle for like p5 aren't they look at the back well p6 the battle for p6 is pretty intense back there <laughs> definitely do you know what though do you know what races like this highlight chat the need to have more players in the lobbies i really like, i don't know if it's the track because it's so big and wide and open and that but with it being a 20 minute race with no strategy it, it highlights the fact that we need we need 20 player lobbies back on this game, 100%. You want some rotation, a bit of rotation with the to the rear. Also, might help the front tires the tiniest amount. Not that much though, by the looks of it. Doesn't seem to do much the brake bias in terms of the tire wear on this game. But um, it will do a tiny. It will help a little bit, but it's more to do with rotation as well. <clears throat> helps with the rotation of the car, like for corners like this when you trail brake. Just helps it turn in a little bit more. <laughs> Should have been in third gear, I don't know why I was in second.
Morning, Mark. All right, no mistakes, I'm gonna take a win. Tires are fading though. You can feel, you can feel the tire wear just going on me. On the left hand corners, you can really feel it. I'm guessing that car behind started at the back. That's not bad, 1956. It's not it's not too shabby. No slipstream, that was just it's not bad at all. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think I only saw 52 yesterday or 51. So that's not bad. Considering this track is not a strong one for me, that's not bad at all. Uh, yeah, next week's dailies is Interlagos Daily Race C. Um, can't remember the other ones, to be honest. <laughs> Someone will know. Someone will know what they are in the chat. Anyone remember? <coughs> I'm pretty sure Interlagos is Daily Race C, but we don't know what cars. And, um... What was Daily Race B? Spa is Daily Race B, and Suzuka is Daily Race A there. Um, let's go into another race. Let's set a lap time. Let's see if we can go a little bit faster on the time trial. That was our cleanest run so far, probably that. Maybe I should do morning streams more. <laughs> All uh, right, you're on holiday now and you're just getting ready for next week. We reckon, I don't know, it, some people reckon it might be group two next week, but what are the settings again, Rataka? Can you, what are the tyre wear for Daily Race C? I think it's soft and mediums. I'm pretty sure it's soft and medium tyres. Is it times six tyre wear and times two fuel, maybe? Um... <coughs> oh, times one fuel and times six tyres. Doesn't look like group three to me, that, you know. Kind of looks like group three, that, to me, but... With it being into Largus as well, kind of think it's group three. Tell you what, let me <coughs> start that again. Very similar to the manufacturer settings, although the laps are lower, aren't they? What the laps are probably going to be? I don't know. 
how many laps do we reckon? Maybe f thir 13 laps or something like that, maybe? Possibly around 13 laps. Get this corner right. A bit slow. Ah. ah just trying to keep it planted. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wasn't that bad when we had them. It wasn't tight. I mean, if it's 13 laps, that'll be easy still. For like, probably a split, it'll be right down the middle, wouldn't it? I mean, you could say that the BOP's pretty decent, Alexandro. To be honest. Different tracks suit different cars, so. Kind of, that, it, like, with that being the case, Although the Supra has been good every week, pretty much, but not everyone uses it all the time. there might as well carry on because I'm not going to finish another lap if I started the lap I wouldn't finish yeah if it's radium racing medium mandatory it'll be a no stop race probably well yeah no I don't know would it last if they make it 13 laps I don't know Hey, you never know, chat. Oh, no, let's say that won't work because it's a mandatory tyre. Let's say. I'm just trying to think with time six tyre wear, will the mediums do 13? With times four, the Nissan GTR was like struggling on 16. Yeah, but it's whether it whether it will completely die though, attacker. Yeah, it's quite a big pit lane loss. It's quite a big. Twenty four seconds is a long a lot a lot of loss. It's one of the higher ones, to be honest, James. Interlagos is one of the highest pit lane losses. Twenty four. A lot of the tracks are shorter than that. Um, I'm trying to think what. And I. If it did 16 laps, it, well, it would have done seven, 16, 17 laps, sometimes four tyre wear when we had the manufacturer's race. <coughs> so I, I was on zero then, but I should have been on plus three. Yeah, you're going to lose the, yeah, obviously, but it depends when they die. I mean, they're probably going to only die on lap 10 or 11, aren't they? So it's going to be one of them weird races, probably. <coughs> But you never know. They might change it and make sure... It might be a different car. If it's Group 2, I don't know whether the, the the mediums in Group 2 would last even 8 laps or 9 laps. I don't know at that rate. See, that, that could be interesting. Oh, that guy set a lap time now. The one that was clearly fast before. <laughs> he was... Um... Gaining on us at the end, but the tire wear on. I think it's tire wear with this Supra. It's not very good at the end. It is probably faster to use different cars for the the last few laps. Oh shit! Oh oh oh! 
<laughs> if it's group two, there's no way the mediums will do 12. But well, if it's group two, it'll be more laps as well. If it's group two, it could be like, could they go up to like 14 laps? I don't know. It'd probably be 13 laps in group two, but would mediums do 13 laps in group two with times six tire wear? <clears throat> I really don't know if they'd do it. Softs do eight laps on group two. So mediums would... Mm, they might. they probably only do nine or ten then. But yeah, so mediums would only do about ten because the mediums aren't that stronger in length on group two. <clears throat> it might be more interesting if it's a group two race, to be honest. If they up the lap count as well a bit, push the laps up a bit. See you in a bit, James. Right, this guy behind us, I think, is faster than us here, so we... He came from the back before and was gaining, so... Let's try and see if we can have a battle here. I hope that's not a penalty straight away. man <laughs> enjoy your holiday <clears throat> my voice I feel like my voice is gonna go soon <clears throat> hopefully it doesn't go before I do a video Take it. I have a feeling he's going to be right on us in a bit because that McLaren's better on tyres, isn't it? Might have to try a few different cars maybe here today. I'm not convinced this Super is the best overall for the race if you the tyre wear. Because <clears throat> it's not very good on the front tyres, it kills them. Rataka? That's that's not though. Why, how have you got that assumption, man? Rataka, you you're not very good with the BOP. Like I just like just need to tell you, man. Your BOP assessments are awful, mate. Mate. In the race, the McLaren is pretty much equal, and then better on tyres at the end. The Citroen can even compete in the race, mate. Oh shit. Both did the same thing.
Yeah, but tire wear, mate. By the end of the race, every other car has better tires than the Supra. Maybe in time trial, yeah, but time trial doesn't tell the story. You should know that by now. Time trial doesn't mean much. It's race pace is a different story in, in group four and group three. Yeah, we fixed it yesterday morning. We fixed the wheel yesterday morning. Well, we know the McLaren in the race can do very low 58s because we saw <laughs> we saw the McLaren doing low 58s yesterday. <laughs> so can the Ferrari. Ferrari and McLaren in clean air can do low 58s. We'll go defensive here. Driving a bit slower than the race before. No idea, Alexandro. With regards to physics, no idea. All got hit. <coughs> Come on, we should be doing fifty eights here. Who knows what PD are going to change in the next update. I I doubt we're going to get a change on August the 7th. There's a reason for that. They're very unlikely to change anything because... I don't think everyone would have left for the world, the um, Amsterdam event. So, if people are still practicing for that, to change the physics would be really stupid. So, very unlikely you're going to get a physics change or anything like that in the next update. I don't think we need a physics change, I think. Maybe a tyre model change could happen, like, so the tyres, when they fade, they die a bit more. <coughs> Just so you lose a bit more grip, because at the moment, people are running tyres, like, longer than what they should do, if you know what I mean. Oh man, <laughs> gotta give me some space on that apex there. Let's try and rotate it. Yeah, I, I don't think we get BOP. Well, you might get BOP change. I don't know because the BOP will be totally different in the live event anyway. They run custom BOP, so I don't know about that. Probably, probably not going to get a BOP change, but. You never know. You know, they might do Group 2 BOP or something like that. Who knows? <coughs> oh, shit. I hit the... Uh... <laughs>
that McLaren just gets stronger, whereas this car starts to fade with the tyres a bit. It'd be very hard to hold him off here. Are you taking the piss? I don't. Th I don't think so, mate. <laughs> Come on. What was that? <laughs> a doctor for a cold, mate. It's a cold, Paul. I've had a cold for about a week. That's all. It's a little cold. I've got phlegm. Not going to go to doctors for a little tiny cold. I've, I've, I've still been going to the gym, mate. It's only... It, it's not that bad. <laughs> Honestly, I, I appreciate you worrying, but it's literally a tiny little cough, like cough. It's not for months. I've only had it about a week, this little cough and cold. You're, you're, I have a, like a tiny little, you might have, you've probably heard when I just do a little cough during the stream, that's because I got phlegm because of hay fever, not trying to make you feel sick like, but when I have hay fever it brings like, makes you a bit phlegmy, can't even defend that, that car's too quick on the straight. I think I can stay with him now. Them tyres are just... They, I'm pretty sure the tyres on them McLaren are just too strong. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to... Honestly, Paul, man, the, I, I have a little cough that's during summer months because of hay fever, because I'm just trying to get rid of any... When you have hay fever, you tend to get bonged up a bit. But um, the cough I've had the last week is a cold. I've had a cold for about a week, mate. It's not related to that. Oh, they're not great, the tyres. The front tyre's not great. <clears throat> We won't, I don't think we can overtake that. The McLaren's too fast on the straight. It's too, too much grunt on the straight, the McLaren. He's just pulling away in the corners. <clears throat> Gained a bit there. Just can't, can't hang with him through the... Um, His top end's too good. Look, he pulls away even though we're in slipstream as well. I think the McLaren's better for the race. I don't know. The McLaren looks better for the race, but then... 
I'm not the strongest round here, so it's not a great track for me. So it's hard to tell. But the McLaren looks very good in race. and hang with him at the moment. Why did I do I would have got that back then. I hit it, but not as bad as him. I would have got the... I might have been able to get that position back. What a donkey. Sparks, well, top split sparks coming from the back of the grid here as well. Oh, God, you're right, David. This corner seems to be a strength for the Supra there. Seems to gain a bit back. Oh, he hit the wall. Seems to be struggling a bit, but I think it's just, he's just trying to push. Messi. <clears throat> no, I cocked it. All right, let's try and get it back onto the line. Yeah, lost a bit through there. Again, I nearly I had to lift there. I nearly got it spot on, but I had to back out or I was hitting the wall. Got to second for the rotation. 
That right front's dead now. This one has not been as good as the previous race. My pace has been nowhere near as good. <clears throat> yeah, we were a bit off there. We did a 56 before, didn't we? So. A little bit off pace on that one, but it could be conditions as well. Different wind direction, different temperatures, so hard to know, really. <laughs> you need one car to compete at um, Grand Valley. Cataluna, Browns Hatch, and Red Boring. Um, I would probably go with the GTR. I'd probably go with the GTR. Um, just because it's going to be solid at them all. Like, the GTR will get beat by the Supra at Grand Valley, but it's still competitive. Cataluna, the GTR can compete. Browns Hatch, the GTR will be okay. Red Bull Ring, GTR is pretty solid. I think GTR is the go-to car at Red Bull Ring. So, yeah, you'd have a good car with the GTR 18. Make sure you pick the 18, though. I would say either that or the Supra. The Supra will be very strong at Grand Valley. It'll be dominant there. It'll be solid at Red Bull Ring. Maybe not as good as the GTR. Cataluna. <coughs> I think the um, GTR would be better. Also, Brands Hatch, the GTR would probably be a bit better. So, yeah, I'd probably go with the GTR over, over, in the, out of them combos. Or the Mavs Division. Um, no, it's not the strongest everywhere. <laughs> Who told you that, Campo? The GTRs, the the um, the Supra is not the strongest everywhere at all. The the, the Supra will get the the Red Bull Ring, GTR will probably be better. Um, also, Browns Hatch, I'd rather have the GTR than the Supra. Um, Grand Valley is pretty close, and um, yeah, Cataluna, I would rather have the GTR than the Supra, I think as well. So, yeah, the Supra is not the best car everywhere at all. Even, like, doesn't matter if it go, doesn't matter. It's a power track. Last time we had a daily racer, Campo, look what car everyone was using. When we had the daily racer, everyone was in the GTR 18. So, doesn't matter. It's acceleration. It's not a power track, anyway. A lot of people think Red Bull Ring's a power track, but in Group 3, it's more of an acceleration track because it's more about you don't really hit top speed. It's more about acceleration in Group 3. So, yeah, it's an acceleration track, not a top speed track, hence why the GTR is better at Red Boring. Yeah, but it's high-speed corners, Campo, a lot of it. And also, <coughs> the reason the, the Super is the fastest there is because the top end. Look at the straight. It's got one of the longest straights in the whole game. So that's why it's fast there. That... that obvious and also the fit out after turn one it's another flat out section you go almost flat all the way through that next section so yeah and even then the gtr can get pretty close to it on that track so um <coughs> yeah grand valley the super probably is the car but um <sighs> rebel ring i'd have the gtr 18 over the Su supra especially with tire wearing i mean I remember we had it as a daily race, didn't we, with tyre wear, and the, the, the GTR was the go-to car. Supra could be used, but GTR was better. Right, let's see if we can... Have we got time to set a lap? Oh, by the way, chat, we're over the one-hour mark. I told... I haven't even... I forgot about that. Um, we're over the one-hour. We're currently on 102 likes. Let's see if we can get 150 likes. Let's go for it, chat. 
Thank you everyone who's hit the like button so far. Appreciate you taking the time. Let's go into this. Let's see if we can see if we can go a bit quicker here actually. Bought some eSports socks. <laughs> oh the Puma ones. <laughs> No, start that again. Got to get the angle right through there. Must have a similar wind speed to me on this one and direction. I'm inside it, it's annoying. It puts me off that all the time. So close, so close to getting that right. Damn. <coughs> Lost too much there though now. Damn, we're still only a tenth of one. Oh man, that would have been a decent lap. That wall here just cost me probably two, three times. Wheel's gone heavy after hitting the wall as well. Oh, I'll try to. <laughs> Try to flick it in. <coughs> um, to be honest, Fender. I'm um, sorry, Theo, not Fender. Theo. In this race, I think the Supra is good. Don't get me wrong, but the McLaren Supra, Ferrari, Citroen might be able to hang with Slipstream. It isn't just about the Supra here, really. You can compete with other cars. I just like the way the Supra drives at this track because. High speed, it rotates. So I like a car that rotates at high speed, and this car does that. So when you flick it in, it proper bites in. <coughs> with them tracks, David, I reckon GTR 18, to be honest. I'd go with the GTR 18. The tracks you mentioned there. Just seems like better, probably better cars for that them tracks. Grand Valley, obviously, you'll take a hit at Grand Valley, but even then, the Supra, the, the GTR 18 can compete with the Supra. I mean, we used it in the Nations race, didn't we, against the Supra, and we did all right. All right, Danny's in P1. I don't think we'll be able to stay with Danny. We'll try our best. It's taken a while to connect to the lobby, isn't it? Have we been disconnected? No, it's just taken ages. It just took ages.
Yeah, we'll just try and hang with Danny as long as we can. Danny's quicker than us here, so... Just a case of just trying to hang with him, really, in the slipstream. If we can get ahead, try, but I doubt we will be able to. Try and focus on Danny. Messed it up there. Then get the revs out of the exit. Tree on a donkey. More of that, please, Danny. Not getting that corner right here at the moment, missing the apex. Ah, I should have went into third, then fourth. Don't know why I did that.
She right. Ah, no, lose too much on the straight again. To be honest, Campo, mate, I'm driving better than I ever done. I, like, way better today than I am it was yesterday. So I'm just gradually just trying to figure it out. It's not really a strong track for me. Sector two, this corner here is actually one of my strongest corners. This one. This is where I tend to gain or find a bit of time back. This is my weakest sector, the last sector. mess that up a bit. Give me a bit more slip that. Rotate your bitch, rotate your bitch. No, I've cocked it there.
To be honest, Camper, it's a skill issue. <laughs> I'm just not as good at this uh, this track as Danny. Danny's faster than me. The only reason I'm hanging in is because a bit of slipstream, really. I don't think without the slipstream, I wouldn't be hanging with him. Ah, oh, it's gone. Ah, oh, no, the, the rear went. No, that's annoying. We were driving so well as well. All right, let's just try and hold on for a P2 now. We're not going to catch him back up. The rear snapped on me massively. <clears throat> Got to break. All right, let me just get the rhythm. I've lost the rhythm now with that mistake. I need to find it back a bit. We lost about, what? Yeah, nearly a second on that lap. Tips for starting out in sport mode. Maybe focus on a race that you like and enjoy the most. Remember, Daily Race 8 does not give you SR or DR. And just watch replays. Watch replays in the time trial to figure out how people are drive, like driving with changing gears and stuff like that. And just, just don't try and drive too fast in the race as well. Be consistent. Consistency, clean and consistent, it's better than fast and just driving all over the place. <clears throat> a good second on that with that mistake didn't lose too much after it though so let's just try and hang as much as we can with him although I'm not sure if Danny's looking after his tires a bit up there Nico, we should be alright as long as we drive it without mistakes. Don't need to really worry about Nico. Dickhead, I was on an alright lap then as well. I found the ribbon back and then just went straight to the fucking wall. Yeah, that would have been probably a 58.67 again. What a donkey. I've lost that ribbon now where I'm just not focused because we're not really in the battle anymore. We're not fighting anyone. We're not going to catch P1. We're too far ahead of P3. Just lost that ribbon massively.
had to lift through there as well. What a don't. Why am I driving so shit now? Uh, I started so well. Decent lapping. Better. Much better, much better through there. That's how we gotta do it. Still lost a tenth to Danny on that one, I think. through that. Oh, God. Nearly. That is all right. I mean, considering the right front, that he's still got grip, Dave. Still got grip. We actually, I mean, we've only lost a tenth to Danny in the last two laps, so we've got the ribbon back a little bit here. me another tenth but <laughs> that's where I think we need a, th a change with the tire model because although that tire is dead it's not actually driving too bad Like, it's still got grip. That's where I think we need to change with the tire model, really. We had better, we, with the last 
we, we got the pace back a bit at the end, but then for two, three laps where once I made the mistake, I lost the rhythm, and then it took me a bit to get it back, but... Yeah. Big gaps. Like, even Nico came from the back, and he's in P3. Nico came from right at the back, didn't he? Huge gaps through the field. <laughs> Peel your tits. You're a knobhead. Hang on a minute. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. I actually didn't mind that when it was like that. When the tyres went, it was like driving on ice. But again, it wouldn't have affected us in this because there was still tyre life left. That was only when they completely went, wasn't it? They literally had almost full grip up to that point. All right, let's go again. See if we can improve our um, time trial time. I can't do anything about that, Martin. No, it's not my option, mate. It's not. I, I'm not in control of that, mate. I, I don't. I can't add features to my channel. That's just YouTube as and when they add it. And apparently, you can do it in some countries that are mine. It's just not available in all countries. Someone said the other day they they can do it on their phone. So yeah, it's just it's just a case of when they add it, mate. It's, like I say, it's nothing I can do about that. Um, once they add it, it'll be there. Hopefully, something like stuff like that I can bring up to my. Um, I've got a meeting with the YouTube partner manager on um, Thursday the tenth. So Thursday the tenth of um, August. Before I go away, I've got I've booked my meeting with him, so I can discuss stuff like that with him then. See see if there's anything he can do, like to try and get the the, the stuff on the channel quicker. Let's see if we can get this lap a bit. We should be able to do a low 50. I mean, if the pace we're doing in the race, we should easily be able to go four times quicker here. A lot of it is just, you just have to wait for it to appear on certain channels, Martin. It's lock of the day when it like features appear. It through there, you pleb. Starting this one again, I think. Yeah, we'll start that again. You right, Matt? How are you, mate? That was so close to perfection, that. No. That was almost spot on. I should have removed the ghost so I could see where I was going a bit better. Okay. 
okay. Not that fast, but it was okay. I get that Shh. bloody understeer every time. I've easily got a 47 two or three in us here. I just need to get that one corner sorted and we've done it. All right, let me go for a wee and then I'll be back in a second. Smash that like button, chat. Oh, I've just clicked something on my mouse. Don't know what I clicked. I should probably what I might do is I might actually do a proper off stream time trial session on this and try and I reckon I can get a 56 if I nail this there's definitely a 56 in this track Ah, my shoulder. Oh. <laughs> drifty, 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 drifty. Ooh. I was trying to beat the one last night. <laughs> that has to be a YouTube short, I think, maybe at some point. I don't know when. Maybe tomorrow morning, do it on the channel for the first thing and then do the guide for the new time trial. Anyone know what the new time trial is yet, by the way? <coughs> Any info out there about the new time trial? Yeah, I, I doubt it, but <laughs> we'll see. Danny's too quick for me. My aim is P2. <laughs> Hang with him as long as possible and give myself a gap. I'm not quick enough to get Danny here. He's just, I'm not, this isn't a good track for me, so I'm surprised I was even hanging with him.
Donkey, didn't get the power. Too slow. Give me that slip. Need to nail this corner. Oh, I don't know if I just caught it. Oh, shit, I want to row. That's the race over, chat. <laughs> There's a double race over. Dirty tyres as well. Bye, Danny. See you at the finish, mate. <laughs> A full second for that felt a bit harsh. I didn't even gain any time at all on him. <laughs> I thought that would be half a second at most. Ah, oh, shit happens. One day they will fix the penalty system, but at the moment we have to live with it. Great fan text. Right, this is going to screw us this penalty. <coughs> yep. Try and get back in the slip and see if we can get P2 back before the end. That's all I can really do now. We're, we're not challenging Danny. Danny's gone. Oh, I've just got ran wide. Dirty tyres again. Okay, let's try and get a podium. <laughs> I'm cocking this one up. It might be time to go to a different race in a minute. for now. Might go to B, might go to Daily Race B after this, we'll see. Or A, well, I don't know, A, B or that. We'll see, we might stay in this one. Right, one of them's got a one second penalty, so he's going to lose quite a bit of time ahead of us.
and we know we pulled out six seconds to p3 so we know that i know i can get back ahead of them because we were faster than them so it's driving terrible what am i doing Race B is not that... Uh, it's alright. It's not the most fun, though. I'd say it's okay. Problem with Race B is the um, tyres. I think I'm going to have this. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Yeah, the tyres is the problem for Race B. But I like driving, it's just not as good as it could have been though. I think if it was on soft or mediums that would have been a lot more fun. Feels like you're driving on ice on that Bathurst track because of the wind direction changing. It feels like you're literally driving on ice in Group 3. Took four attempts out of P2. Took three, four temps out of him there. Let's see if we can take another three, four temps out of him on this lap. Drifting, it's drifting. What's he out? took more than that out of him on this lap so far. Might be able to get that P2 back here. It took about seven tenths out of him that lap. It's not a bad lap, it's pretty solid. No, it's not right through there though. Hit the wall there. 
Um, the, the shaft. <laughs> we had a shaft issue. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, the shaft, you have to take the wheel rim off, undo the clamp on the, on the um, shaft, take that off, push it in as hard as you can, the shaft into the base, and then redo the clamp and then retighten up the wheel rim and, and it was all it was all sorted after them. So yeah, if you ever have any issue with it disconnecting, try that, it seems to work. Shaft and rim issue, exactly. <laughs> no shaft issue there, Will, mate. No, you, mate, like a baby's arm. Baby's arm, Will. <laughs> what film is that? What film? <laughs> What film is it? Um, Austin Powers. I think it's always Austin Powers. It's always like the babies are. <laughs> uh. like a pep now because I'm, I'm reading too much chat I'm driving like a donkey oh he drifted that so did I but just about caught it might have actually helped me that drift nearly in the slipstream come on we got a few laps to get in that slipstream and try and get this P2 back I know, Brandon, man, I, I can only imagine what they, they think, like riff, like rim, raft, raft shaft. I'm right up his rear. <laughs> like, they must be like thinking, what the hell is going on in there? Come on, I want this P2 back, let's focus. In the slipstream, we've got three laps to try and get the move done. Stay in third because it would have just understood.
understand. I don't think he's fighting it, chat. I would have thought that, but... It does have it, but just not as much as other groups. I mean, every group has... Every car in the game has dirty air. It doesn't, it doesn't just vanish, no matter what car you're in. Every single car in the game has it. It's just not as much in this group. Like it's better in group four you'd rather be in a slipstream than not so for example if we had slipstream on in qualifying in group four at this track at this chicane it'd be quite funny it's say for example in a gt world series race this chicane would be hilarious you'd have a massive queue of cars here all fighting for the slipstream it'd just be a shit show but um yeah you, you just get a tiny loss really GT Sport quality. Yeah, we were keeping with Danny before David, but we crashed in this one, so. <laughs> we were keeping with him in the race before for like six or seven laps, and then I made a mistake in that one as well. He's fast. He's definitely fast. We were, we were managing to stay pretty, like, reasonably with him. Like, our fastest lap's only a few tenths off his, off his as well. We had no slipstream on that lap, so. Pace, it's definitely improved, my pace on this one, compared to yesterday. We've improved quite a bit. You right, JD Gamer? Well, that's why we want dynamic weather races, to be honest. That's what I love about dynamic weather. We, we just don't have enough of them, really. Good finishing time by Danny there. Uh, we, just, we just don't get enough um, dynamic weather races, in my view. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have one soon though chat again. It, it feels like it's been a long time since we had dynamic weather if you know what I mean <clears throat> Been a long time Bring back Le Mans. Yeah, bring back Le Mans. But with Chicane. But with the Chicane in Group 4. 
<coughs> Wet race chicane in group four. I'd be game for that. I don't know about you lot, but I'd be game for that. Add the chicane in for a bit more chaos. <laughs> chicane caused a bit more chaos. Right, we got ourselves back to P2. We got ourselves back to P2. Lobbies are pretty... Um... Lobbies are a bit dead again, aren't they, chat? They're not like... They're not dead dead. There is A plus in here, but they're just not... Not as comp I don't know whether to be fair for a daytime this is about normal. Probably about normal for a daytime this. What's that, PO? What are you on about? I don't know what PO's on about. Right, let me um Don't know whether to do a daily B or dynamic weather. Should we try a daily B? Should we have a little go at daily B? What do you reckon, chat? We've done a few of them daily Cs, so should we have a little look at what's going on with daily B? I need to set a lap time on that as well, to be honest. We need to set a lap time for daily B because we haven't figured Unless you want me to go back to daily C. What's that, fan Texas? Oh, Fantex, I'll read... I don't know if Fantex is in the stream there. I'll read... I just saw your message on Twitter, Fantex. I'll, um... I'll reply after the stream, mate. I'll... I'll just give me a... <clears throat> I, I don't know if to do a C and then... Should we do a C and then a B... An A? So maybe a C, A, B. Because you can time them better then. You can go C, A. We'll see, we'll see. yeah. I might do C... Might go for one more and see. Let's go for one more. Um, I want to. Have I got time to do a lap? Actually, I want to set a better lap. I keep screwing my lap up. I might go C A B because if A starts at the end of this race. Can we? Oh no, we can't get into B though, can we? <laughs> I forgot the timings of the races. You can't go C A B. <coughs> we'll just yeah, we'll see. I really want to improve this lap, though. I tried the Genesis the other day. I didn't like it. But it was bloody horrible. I can only imagine how horrible it would be with the wind on. <laughs> no, thank you. You stick with the Genesis up. I'm not touching that thing. I forgot to put the ghost on. Oh, well, I'll just do it without the ghost. Yeah, that's what I mean, Campo. So, yeah, I might just do this one or two more times. Don't know if that's a pen. I'll carry it on purely because I carried good speed through the other corners. I think I've got dirty tyres. Yeah, I've got dirty tyres there. Start that again. I must have picked up dirty tyres in that corner. He's on about in group in group um, daily race B. He's on about not this one. He's on about daily B. <laughs> Patrick, you legend. Thank you for the eight months, mate. Hey, okay, congrats on YouTube manager, etc. You work really hard and you deserve it, man. Looking forward to the daily review of it. Yeah, that'll be out today. Um, like I say, we're going to finish in about an hour and a half and then I'm going to get on with the, the review video. Thank you very much, Patrick. Spam that legend mode for Patrick for the eight months of support of the channel. Appreciate the message as well, Patrick. Thank you very much for that. It's a bit slow. Can't even start another lap yet. Uh, pardon me. Whoopsie. Oh, 
What a donkey. What a donkey. By the way, chat, bro, I forgot about the two hour mark again. <laughs> Absolute pleb. Um, we're one like away from 150. Let's see if we can get as close as we can to 200 likes. Thank you for everyone that's hit that like button. Appreciate you taking the time, legends. Make sure you get subscribed as well. Like I say, we do stream full time, YouTube, Gran Turismo. We will be, we will eventually be jumping on ACC as well once. I, I might be putting that graphics card in before I do it. I don't know yet. I don't know if to get that in. And I'm, I'm contemplating putting the 4060 Ti in over the 3070 that I've got. So for those that don't know, yeah, but we have got a giveaway. We want, so our community was chosen by NVIDIA. So you might not have seen it yesterday, chat, but our community was chosen by NVIDIA to do a giveaway. But in, because of that, I got, I received one myself early. So I, I've been given a, I'll show you. I've been given a founder's edition of the RTX 4060 Ti by NVIDIA. So we've got the 4060 Ti there. Try not to break it. Um, but we're going to have two of them to give away on the channel, but you will need to be subscribed. Um, I, also, I'd be getting subscribed weeks before. Make sure you subscribe weeks before because I'm going to make sure that whoever wins it has to have been subscribed for a while. I'm not going to do like, you know, on the day subscribers. They won't be um, eligible. And um, James, thank you for the 11 months, legend. Spam that leg and emote for James, everyone. Wishing everyone a great day. Appreciate it, James. Wishing everyone a great day. So that's what James... James wants you all to have an amazing day. So what he means is he wants you all to watch my content all day. <laughs> Thank you, James, you legend. Appreciate it, legend. Spam the legend emote there for James, everyone. Yeah, not rap too early, Seraph. Too early, man. Too early. <coughs> I didn't think it was the TI version I was getting, but I'm, I've got the TI... It's the TI version. I think it's the 16 gigabyte. Is it the 16 RAM? Oh, I can't remember what the 16 one. So, yeah. Nice. Pretty happy that we, we got sent that by NVIDIA for free. Also, um, two to give away on the channel, which is really nice. Yeah, I've got the eight. I've got the eight on mine. I've got the boost pack on. All right, Danny, get a few penalties, mate. Come on, make it interesting. <laughs> Danny needs to get a few penalties, make it a little bit more interesting. Car behind us will probably push us a bit here as well. Right, focus time. Um, I thought I did, but I don't. But I might get one out. Not today, though, Moth. I might try and get one out. I might try and get a guide out for this. Tomorrow. What day is it today? Yeah, I might try and get one out tomorrow because the track... the. the yeah, so we'll probably do that tomorrow because the new time trial is Thursday, isn't it? So, yeah, I might do one tomorrow. I'll, do a, I'll try and do a bit better time trial in the morning or something. Fantex, man, you legend. Thank you for the gifted membership. Chat, another big thumbs up on legend right there for Fantex Racing, please. Thank you for supporting, legend. You know what to do, chat. It's a big, massive legend shout out there. Appreciate it, mate. Gifting a membership. Absolute legend. Spam the leg and the mode, spam it away. Right, let's try and stay with Danny. Do I send it on Danny? Do I send it?
Just panic him a little bit. Just make him think the send was coming. He's got a bit wide. Too far back to send it here. No grip. Too quick, isn't he? It's too bloody quick. <laughs> I'm trying my best to stay with him, but he's so bloody quick. He's also very consistent around here, isn't he? Not making many mistakes. There was a little one there, but nothing drastic. He makes enough one there, but... Oh, that's going to compromise him a bit. The bit of compromisation there, chap. Let's get back up his backside. Neighbours again will be thinking all kinds of weird shit now. Maxi! With a 10 gifted, chap. Spam the legend. I'm sorry, my voice feels like it's going. Thank you very much, Maxi. Appreciate your support, legend. You are an absolute legend. Honestly, crazy support with them gifted memberships, Maxi. What a legend, chat. You know what to do, chat. Big thumbs up and um, legend mode for Maxi, please. Thank you very much for your support on the channel, Maxi. Oh, my God. Wide line, didn't work there, didn't get it in. Hit the wall, Danny, hit... Oh, damn. <laughs> How long did Danny to hit the wall there? It's the Maxi Ping stream. Stay with him, stay with him. Come on. Not as good at he just gains a bit on that chicane every time. Good luck by Danny. I 
I hope that's not a pen. Keep him under pressure, chat. I think that's the only way you force him into a mistake or a penalty. I'll probably make a mistake, but I'll just try my best to put him under pressure. Mistake there, you big donkey. Get back in with that six tens, come on. Oh, I got that nailed. It did skim the wall, but overall, better than before. Planted, just keep it planted. I nailed it, nailed that, he messed it up. That perfect, you big donkey. This is shit. No, we're making mistakes. You big donkey. The bad lap.
slow Danny down that. Please slow him down. How did he not lose time there? He just scraped the wall. <laughs> Confused at that. I don't know how he doesn't lose time when he hits the wall that hard. to lift it was gonna hit the wall shit 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 just starting to lose that slip a bit now I think it's when the tires when the tire wear kicks in it's when I start losing the pace because I'm quite aggressive on tire wear driving it a bit. Ah, the poor one. Shit. Messed up the line. Come on, let's try and... I think he's going to break the slip in a minute. To look. Oh, he's made a mistake. That will gain us a little bit back. And we're wide. the wall that hard chat can someone explain this to me he has just clobbered the wall but not lost time if i even tap it slightly i lose a massive amount of time i don't get it oh shit ah oh, there's dirty tires so we're screwed now just get it, wait for the dirty tyres and hold on to P2. To be fair, he was pulling away anyway. Every time I lose that, I just make a silly mistake. I just lose focus. Got to wait for a few corners for the tyres to still dirty, massively dirty. You right, Mark? 
<coughs> oh well, we drove well up to them. Just one mistake again. That one little mistake overdriving the car. be a bit of lag because he's not from the EU is he so it could be that he could have just grazed it and it shows us more I actually got that corner right for a change One more lap, take a P2. Care for that right front, it's fading. front feels pretty worn here. Didn't get the angle. <coughs> oh, Danny had a penalty, I think. Yeah, he had a little penalty. though not just one mistake again much better than yesterday pace wise we're starting to get the flow of this track a bit in group four <laughs> nah Citroen would be okay but I'd lose the slipstream to Danny you'd lose the slip I think Pretty sure you would. You're right, Michael. How are we, mate? Uh, pardon me. Citroen is alright. It's just that I think the early pace won't be as good as the Supra. Same with McLaren's good overall, though. Just the McLaren understeers a bit more, which I think would put me off in them fast corners where I get understeer. I like the way the Supra rotates into the corners. You, you like downshift it and then upshift it before you get on the power sometimes and it just really bites into the corners it feels nice the way you drive it all right let's see if we can go a bit faster anyway yeah i can get a point i reckon i can get 56s with the super though i mean i haven't done a good lap yet we've literally just jumped in with what we most we have is like two laps and then you run out of time. But I'm pretty sure I can get a... I reckon I could get a 56. If I can do 58 ones in the race, I should be going a second quicker than that at least, so... You alright, Darren? How are you, mate? <clears throat> well, 
I wouldn't say it's easier. Actually, the, the Super is probably the harder car to drive over than the McLaren. McLaren's way easier. McLaren's got way more grip than the Supra in terms of traction. This car will kill you a lot easier. Um, so this is actually a harder car to drive, I'd say, than, than the uh, McLaren. But the McLaren understeers a little bit, though, which gets a bit annoying. You don't want understeer on this track. See if I get away with that. I don't know. Oh, I f it's close. Thing is, though, you've got Danny, one of who's pretty much a world tour driver now. I'm gonna go with the Supra because I need something that can stay with him. If he's in the Supra, I need to stay with him. So. 56 is not impossible, Campo. Definitely not, man. I can do a 56 here, 100%. If I was to time trial this properly and spend some time on it, I could do it. There's people already in 56s on this. The, t the lap in front of me is a 56.4, I think. Yeah, that, that's 56.5 in front of me. Is that... Uh. Yeah, Citroen will be good in the race, but I think it will possibly lose the slipstream. That's the only worry I have with the Citroen. wind direction's fine. The wind direction's all right. It feels all right when I've been... I've had that wind direction before and it feels pretty good. Looking at this pace on the straight, I'm pretty much matching that ghost, so... I think that he's done it with a similar wind direction. Too slow, but we'll carry it on. I decided to use third gear for safety rather than overdriving it. To lift you big donkey. No, it's the gear shift. Messed it up. What a donkey. I think we've improved it, but... It's a bit better. It's a 57.4. Tell you what we'll do. That might do for a track guide. That'll save me. That'll save me try hard in it, so... It wasn't a brilliant lap. There's definitely a 56 in that for me. 100% there's a 56 in it because that wasn't a brilliant lap. That'll do as a guide though. We can use, probably use that for a guide, can't we? Yeah, we, we lost at least two free attempts in the last sector. I got the last corner pretty well though. The last corner was not bad, was it?
Okay, I think P30, where are we? What was that? P30? P36 on a Tuesday is good enough for a track guide, so we'll probably use that. We'll try and get that out on the channel. I've got it recorded there, so that'll be tomorrow's mid video chat. Tomorrow's video sorted. Thursday will be another track guide. Chikorito! Gifted membership, you bloody legend. Spam the legend about for Chikorito chat. He is a legend with them. He gives us so many gifted memberships. Appreciate it, Chikorito. Can we all give Chikorito a big, huge thumbs up and legend shout out, chat? Green team. <laughs> 24 more likes to go as well for the 200. If you haven't already hit it, get that like in there. It helps me out massively. Thank you, everyone who's already done it, by the way. Appreciate you taking the time. At least I'm finding pace at a track that I'm, I'm... I say finding pace, but we're getting better at a track that I don't particularly like. So... It's very much a sim similar situation to St. Croix, this. You just have to keep figuring out the wide lines into corners and getting on the throttle earlier. You keep figuring out you can go on the throttle just a fraction earlier, and it just gains you every time you do it. So it's all about figuring out them, like, fine margins of, like, track width and stuff. I thought that disconnected them. Havard, thank you very much for the gifted as well. Chat, another thumbs up on legend right there for Havard, please. What a legend. Make the chat green. <laughs> Appreciate it, Havard. Thank you very much for doing that. Appreciate all the support on the channel, Havard, mate. Legends. <clears throat> right, let's try and see if we can get away from this Spanish driver that's behind us. Yeah, it's probably more busy now than yesterday. Now, yet, I don't know whether last night was just... Maybe people are busy in, the, in, like, in night times on, like, when it's summer and that. People are probably doing stuff and that. you got to remember, people do go days out and they can't really be bothered getting back on the game. They just want to chill out a bit. Ah, Anakin's as well with a gifted. Another gifted there. It's a gifted ping stream. <laughs> Thank you very much, Anakin. I think that's... Um... Oh, yeah, I don't know, James, to be honest. 14 new members today, chat. Brilliant stuff. Thank you very much, legends. Spam it away for Anakin now, chat. Yeah, I don't think we've had a summer, have we? Well, we had a June. We had June, James. June was quite nice, but that's not technically... When we had the nice weather, it was still, still technically spring. As soon as we got to official summer, the weather went ship. <laughs> Head shave? We already done that, Dave. That's been and gone, man. <laughs> we did that. We're not we're not near enough to a thousand. Though. We're nowhere near a thousand members at the moment. We're on about I think we're on about five hundred and eighty, something like that. We're nowhere near a thousand. But even then, I wouldn't be doing it again. We've already done that once. I'm not going back to. <laughs> if you get ten thousand members, then we'll think of something to do, which we'll never hit. So <laughs> we're never hitting ten thousand members. I've just... Have I just got a penalty? I might have just got away with that. Very risky.
a thousand, we've already had a thousand members, Fantex. We had a thousand mid tier at one point. It's not on that now, obviously, if the game's drip, like faded a bit since then. But we have had a thousand mid tier. That's when we shake the head. If we get to ten thousand mid tier, if we ever get ten thousand mid tier, then yeah, God knows what I'd do. We'd be having a party, chat. <laughs> We'd be having a party, I tell you. A bit slow. I haven't even looked at the TT, I've got no idea what it's on. As long as I'm still gold, then we're good. <laughs> as long as I've still got gold, chat, I'm happy. Please tell Jeddah to stop. <laughs> we'll have a look at it after this. We'll have a little look at what it's on. Have a little look at the wet one. Has anyone improved on the wet one at all? I know, obviously... Billion set that insane lap. It's not bad. It's not bad. Fifty eight point three. We'll take that. Chikorito. I think I did a 12-9, but I, I didn't do I only did a few laps. I did a 12-9 after a few laps. I don't waste it's just not I, just, I can never be bothered pushing them. As long as I've got gold, I'm happy. Affilian did when he could be bothered. <laughs> when Affilian could be bothered, he stopped him right in his marks, didn't he, on um, the Spa one. I just don't think many people push them like that. Je that Jedi guy, whatever his name is, he pushes them like way higher than what most people could be bothered doing. system yeah I ain't gonna go more than two times faster chat not gonna happen like that that might gain half a tenth over what it is now, a tenth maybe. No one's gaining two tenths on them now, if they've already been pushed. I've still got loads to buy, Ritaka. And also, what are you on about, man? We've got an ambulance coming. 
What's he on about? Literally got an ambulance coming to the game. Why are you not going to buy that straight away? thing we'll probably do is try out the ambulance. <laughs> Make a video. RPD losing the plot. <laughs> Say, I might do that. Pace wasn't good enough here though to start from the back yesterday, Naveen. Come out today, I found a bit of pace though, that's a, that's the a problem. <laughs> but tonight we're racing from the back of America, so tonight's stream we'll be doing the, the racing from the back. I, I don't know why, why I've suddenly found a bit of pace on this combo because I had no pace at all yesterday, but now I'm starting to get the consistency and getting the flow of it. Starting to get a bit, bit more pace out of it. But to be honest, though, sometimes it's nice to race from the front for me. I know that, like, because when you race from the back, you don't really get to show, like, your progress with pace and that, and it doesn't really improve your pace. Got to be honest with you, it's not great for your pace racing from the back because you're always getting into battles. You're never really getting a flow of a track. For me to learn a track personally, I need to race from the front and just get in control and just concentrate, do you know what I mean? Like race my own race i can't really learn a track when racing it from the back so sometimes i have to think of myself there and just try and learn it from the from the front and figure it out a bit more that's a terrible line what am i doing We've had some good races, though, to be fair, Naveen. We've, we've been beat in most races. We've been, I think we've only won one, one race today, I think. But um, Danny's been on it like anything. Danny's just been in, so it's not been that bad. Danny was in in the previous races, and he was beating me, so... I think that's what's probably helped our pace a bit, just trying to chase down Danny. the Ferrari 296. Also the McLaren 720. I think there's a new McLaren GT3 out now, actually. I think the 720 is old. <laughs> PD are too slow at getting the cars. By the time they do get stuff, they'll be out of date. This is the problem with this combo. If you don't have the fast drivers on, it's going to be a bit like this. But when the fast drivers are on, I'm not. As f I can like push myself and try and stay with them. But just a bit faded at the moment. <laughs> VGT ambulance. <laughs> Tune it up. J 
you know what wouldn't surprise me though? We'll get an exhibition season and the ambulance will be a race. <laughs> check, check. It'll probably be one of the highest, it'll probably be one of the like most stacked races as well. Because everyone would do it just for a laugh. You know you'd do it, wouldn't you? I'd do it. <laughs> At Nord, yeah. To be fair, we do need one with all the casualties from Kimmy and that, don't we? So, the way they're driving on the game recently, and that might be why they thought, yeah, we need an ambulance. There's too many casualties on track recently. The driving standards are that shit. Imagine the, <laughs> if they've got the siren on there, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. To be fair, we could make some funny thumbnails anyway. <laughs> you know when it's like the death chicane? We can get the ambulance on there as well. I don't think it'll be in group four. It'll definitely just be like a, a road car. If they put it into group four, I'd be really worried about PD's sanity, to be honest. I'd be a bit concerned. The only car out of them new cars that vaguely looks interesting to me is the, um, the Maserati. That looks quite a nice car to jump in VR with. off a little bit here now we're not focusing but we don't I don't think we need to worry too much do we is that a penalty it might be it's either perfect or a pen I think it's perfect Drift for you. Thumbnail drift. Thumbnail drift. Save the replay. Save the replay. No, we can't pit. We haven't got that much time, Havard man. 
Hang on a minute here. Pit stop takes about 20 seconds. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> You're a cheeky shit, you P.O. He's pushing for that on mod status again, chat. P.O.'s pushing for that on mod status. Let's just chill out. Get it to the finish. Don't get a penalty. Don't make any silly mistakes. could be green like the trees peel surely that'd be good for you <laughs> I think we'll go to a daily race B now I think we've had some good races here we'll try and improve our lap time on daily B and then um, just so if it's busier at any point during the week, we've got a good lap done as well. Two people have quit this race as well here. We've only got 14 in it. Nice, solid ROM. Not particularly, not outstandingly fast on the last few laps, but it's a solid run. We didn't really need to push, did we? It was a chilled out run, and we've done 19.55 chilled out, so not bad. Definitely improved since yesterday, a lot. <coughs> I'm thinking of doing a... Um... What I'm thinking of doing, Trilander, is maybe like, um, what I need to start doing, I am going to start maybe for like a preview of the new cars, maybe I could preview them in VR. It's just that I don't know if it would get many views doing that, like the new car previews in VR, would it get much views? I don't know. Be like, do it in VR and preview them, take them for a drive and give you my opinion. Put the ambulance siren on. Maybe it's something we could do. I don't know what the views would be like on it. <laughs> Alright. I think that'll do us for Daily Race C chat. I think that will do us. I'm on V2 pedals. No. What? What do you mean? Key. Your V. Key. Your V2 pedals are CSLs. No. V CSLs are separate pedals to V2. They're not the same thing, Kevin. So V2s are different. I'm on V2s. CSL pedals are different. If if you know what I mean, I think. So these are V2. The CSL are the ones that you get with the 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 um, GTDD Pro. I've got them as well as a backup. So yeah, we we we've got them pedals as a backup. Let's jump into this one anyway. Um, should we rent off? I've got it. I should have this car. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just go and let's just we need to try and get, it's gonna take me about five minutes just to get used to the bloody car again. We need to go quite a bit quicker though. We need to set a lap time that's a bit more. Our lap time isn't very good here. Are V two much better than the load cell? Um, they're better, yeah. They're better than the CSL load cell. 
much better. I'd say they're, they're a good upgrade from the CSL, but they're not as good as the V3 in my view. Break too late. Yeah, I, I am gonna try and get VR content. Like, I've just started the new, like, the new one off that we're doing after this video, like the weekly review of the races. I'm gonna do that every week from now on. We've got the Thursday video that's always out. We need to try and get like more videos. Just gotta be careful. I don't just start getting to the point where I'm literally, because I stream quite a bit. I've got to make sure I don't overdo it. Really, I've got to give myself some time to chill out as well. But. I am going to try and do some more videos on the channel. That is something I want to try and get sorted. What? The, this car is like driving on ice. Literally like driving on ice. But yeah, I am going to try and get more content on the channel. We need to try and get more like weekly type of videos that are always out every week. So like you lot know that on a Tuesday, it's a weekly review. On a Thursday, it's the time trial guide. Maybe one other video that's guaranteed every week as well. Yeah, if it was day, if it would have been on mediums, it would have been a little bit better. Right, don't go into sixth. We figured that out yesterday. Stay in, stay in fifth gear. <laughs> it's like a drift machine. I didn't save the replay, did I? From that lady race eight. What a massive tit! Look at this. I didn't save that. I wanted to save that replay for that drift so I could have done a little thumbnail. What a donkey. I literally said make sure I save the replay that and then forgot. Sparks, how are we? Old age, yeah. True. Oh my god, it's so loose. My God, it's it's spinning. I tell you what, <laughs> could you imagine the neighbours? All the all they hear for me is somebody like shaft, rim, and then I'm like, oh my God, it's so loose. <laughs> the neighbours are probably thinking, I'm, I, they're they're probably on the verge of ringing someone right now. Let's just try and keep this car on the track. All right, this is the corner. Be careful. The wall there. Drifting. try to push it it's annoying because i know we should be in the, i think we should be in the two ones here but keep trying to overdrive it <coughs> too much havard man too much it's morning mate mate it's 11 o'clock in the morning <laughs> 
Nighttime stream, chat. Nighttime stream. <laughs> Uh. Oh. Yeah, forget about your birthday. What is a birthday? Oh, no, well, I mean, forget about it in terms of your age, but not in presence. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm in the 40s. I still don't think I'm in the 40s. Like, even though I am, it doesn't feel like I'm in the 40s. I might do some time trial on this. Um, trying to think, maybe if I do the guide, maybe tomorrow morning after I've done the track guide, because we're going to do a daily race C track guide tomorrow morning, because I'm obviously doing the weekly review on this. So, <clears throat> see how that goes. We do, uh, one hour, two hour races would be shit, Lando. Like, the reason for that is, look what happens when we do 40 minute races. You end up with like 10 people in the lobby. So, uh, I don't think we have the lobby capacity to do long races like that. Just don't think it's there. Like, you'd need to have, if you were doing that, you'd need to have all, to all A plus only. It'd be only A plus only, and you'd have to say if you know, if you leave, you won't be rejoining. But people would still leave. Yeah, on like on G on GT World Series, it works for longer races because it's an ex you know you've got equal lobbies, and people won't leave because unless they you know some people still leave them, but. Yeah, the, the, the game needs bigger lobbies, really, for long endurance racing, especially in lobby form. Like, we'd need 24-player lobbies. To be honest, that 12-lap race was boring. Let's be honest about this. Let's be brutally honest about that. 12-lap race was incredibly dull. Like, it was all right for a few laps, and then it was just like... Can we see anyone around? Like binoculars out, trying to find another car. It was so crap. There was it was it was too long for sixteen players in a daily. In a GT World Series, it would have worked. GT World Series, that race would have been alright. But as a daily, it didn't work because the field spread was way too high. <clears throat> if it would have been Group Four, twelve laps with the chicane, right, with dynamic weather, and it could change multiple times in the race. Now you'd be looking at a possible entertaining race because you'd never give up because you could be like, oh, might rain. Someone's being disconnected here. We're losing a driver. Probably me. My sound has gone, which makes me a little bit worried that it is me. Oh, no, we're in. Someone went, though. Who was it? No, everyone's in. That's weird. Uh, minus one, try and stop this car from being an evil little shit. Good thing is, Porsche in front is very quick, but it, we can overtake that on the straight. If we can stay close to it, though, that's a problem. Wind is quite low, so there might be an alright grip on this. It's not, it's not that windy. Might have reasonable grip out of this. Supra likes low wind conditions. Like when the when the wind's slow like that, the Supra in general should do a bit better. Alright, don't go into sixth, no point. Yeah, it all oh, it oh shit and hell, that was possibly the curve, I don't know. Or was it? I don't even know if I was on the curb then.
shit. What are you doing? What are you doing, you donkey? Jeez. <clears throat> right, we should gain a bit on this straight. Doesn't gain that much though over the Porsche. That Porsche just has such good traction off the corner. Good run here. Yeah, I think the Porsche is probably the better car in the race, but the Super gives you overtaking opportunities a bit better. Don't think he expected that, but he left the door open, chat. There's no way I'm not going to take that invitation. I don't think he thought I was going to place, I don't think he thought I was going to go for it, Havard. I think we took him by surprise a bit there. Oh yeah, the penalty. Rip. <laughs> so nervous on this track. It's like driving on ice. All right, let's try and do a better lap now. Corner's lethal with the Supra. Oh, hello. Damage. Shit. Well, that was a bit of a booby, was it? <laughs> what a dick. What a donkey. Oh, he's up behind us. That'll help. Let's get the car repaired and then just... Hopefully it'll repair before I get on the back straight here, anyway. Yeah, I forget about the walls. Just not warmed up on this track. This track takes a little bit of warming up because you've got to get used to the... the rhythm of pushing up to the walls, which I'm not in at the moment, but... If we can get a win, that's all that matters. We're driving like a bit of a donkey right now. We were doing, we did 203.5 yesterday in the race, so at the moment we're quite a bit off pace.
Public lobbies, no try Lando. In lobbies, it was 16 players still. But on dailies, it had hype more players on dailies. We had 20 player lobbies on dailies. Also, we had 24 player lobbies at some points of the game. That was quite good when we did 24 player tops. Uh, it was like top 24 races. Like, th this game can run more players. They just refuse him because of certain issues, I think. I think there's problems with like either the network or lag or I'm driving like a donkey. There's something that causes an issue with more players that they've had to cut back on it. They obviously didn't create the best network environment. We're gonna have to go for that fastest lap on the last one because we are all over the place hitting walls and everything here. We don't want that guy behind us to think he's got a chance, so let's, uh, um... Let's push on this final lap. He's in the slip, but he won't be able to go for a move here. I mean, this game's got dedicated servers for the GT Bar series, and daily races run on proper servers, James. I'm pretty sure they do. They're on proper servers, well, they should be. GT Sport run on proper servers. I mean, we had 24 players on GT Sports, so I don't see why they couldn't do it on this game. We know this game can run 20-player lobbies already. We already know this game can run 20-player lobbies. But they just turned it off. Don't really know why. Yeah, probably lobbies are um, not dedicated. That's a, that's a problem. Right, let's try and... Let's go for the fastest lap and get a 203.5. Not risk it all on the final lap, but I want to get a 203. I'm driving like a donkey. Good exit. I did hit the wall there, but we're still on an okay lap. Pushing a bit too much there, whoopsie. Alright, we still take the win, even with Plev in it like a donkey. Not a very good lap to end with, but... <coughs> we got a 203 even with driving off the track, so... Still goes the win. Yeah, the guy behind would have beat us because of that mistake. Going on the grass. <laughs> he would have got the faster lap, but... You will do with Slipstream anyway, especially with the Porsche. Slipstream in the Porsche is OP. <laughs> we take a win. Take a win. Do we finish with a bit of go-karting, I think, chat? We'll finish off the morning stream with some go-karting action because I need to get the weekly review video done. So I'm going to finish off with a bit of go-karting action.
give ourselves see what that's like from the back now just to, just to get our opinion on these races a bit more Yeah, PS4, ACC on PS5 has dedicated public cert. You can do, um, is it 24 player? You can do, James. I think you can do 24 player on ACC. It's like, like from just setting up a lobby. I'm not sure though. <laughs> um, don't know if it lags like GT on lobbies. Once you're in the race on GT, it's fine. Once you're in the race, it's all right. So the only lag you get is when people are joining and, and leaving. But um, yeah, once you're in the race, it's, it's not a problem, really. Yeah, I, I couldn't be asked with ACC on PS5. I really couldn't be asked with it, like, to be honest. What is LFM this week, by the way, chat? Still need to set my PC up. Get it all set up for ACC. I don't know if it'll be this week or week after or what, but we, we will jump on it eventually. Once we've got it set up and back, have a little go of it off stream, we will be back on ACC. I'm definitely going to jump on it off stream first, though, just to get myself warmed up. Don't know if it'll be this week, next week. Hopefully in the next few weeks, though. <laughs> yeah, no, not no PO. <laughs> all right, let's... Um... LFM doesn't make sense. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't get you. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? Don't, I don't get you, James. Um, nah, there's more than that, James. There's more than that. That's just on that one race you're looking at. That's just on the one race. Remember, they have endurance races and other stuff going on on there as well. There is, like, and at peak time of night, they have more than that as well. They have over 300, well over, just on one race. But it, to be honest, so if you go on iRacing, if you go, like, in the daytime on iRacing, you only literally have, like, on a GT3 race, if you sign into it, sometimes, like, 130, 140 peer plenty. But again, on iRacing, you've got loads of other races going on. <coughs> I mean, it depends what time. I don't know if it's died off a bit on LFM then. But it, when I was on there a while ago, there was like 350 people on and stuff. Unless, unless LFM has died off a bit recently. I'm not too sure. Yeah, Flash, I'm, I'm going to try and get a video done in VR. That, that's what something I might try and do for Friday's video. I'm trying to get different videos like tomorrow... So today's the weekly review. Tomorrow morning, track guide for Daily Race C. Um, so that's done. We did the lap just before we did an... All right, it wasn't an amazing lap. We should have been faster, but we did an okay lap for Daily Race C. So track guide tomorrow morning for Daily Race... Or tomorrow... Might be tomorrow morning or af afternoon. Again, depends if we do double stream. Might just do video and stream tomorrow. Um, so yeah, track guide tomorrow. Then it'll be track guide for the new time trial on Thursday. And then maybe Friday I can do a VR race on this as a video. Get, have a couple of races in VR. Um, could even do Trial Mountain in VR. That would actually be drivable. I think it would be... Do you know what would be quite good for VR on Trial Mountain is really getting up to the walls? Because one thing in VR, you can really sense how close you're getting to the walls. So might work on there, actually. Maybe have a go at them. <coughs> oh, no. There was... When I was on it, James, when I was on... When I did... um. When I did LFM, there was like eight splits, mate. There was like seven or eight splits racing. There was loads. Depends what time of day. If you go on now, it's going to be dead. LFM in the daytime is it's like GT dailies. They're a bit dead in the day. But at night time, they're a bit more busy. But I don't know if it's faded off a bit. Maybe it has faded off a bit, the um, LFM. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I could imagine it being quite nice on VR. I do need to start getting more usage out of the VR for video. I'm, I need to just get on it. Like, the problem that I have is trying to find time when I'm not streaming and not doing, like, a video to edit it and stuff like that. 
for like a track guide because track guides take ages. It's trying to find that an hour. And I don't want to sacrifice going to the gym because as much as like some people think, oh, you should just suck. But gym's important. I think exercise is really important. It keeps me zoned. So yeah, it keeps me like in the in a good place. So yeah, go in the gym every day or once like one day off a week. I've got to, I, I don't want to stop doing that because I really think that the gym's vital for keeping you, keeping everything in order. Uh, yeah, you're a bit slower in VR. I mean, as a time trial, no. In time trial, I, I got up to pace on that Group 2 race we had. I actually went faster in, in VR than I did on non-VR, but, and also the Super Formula one, I was pretty much matching it. But in race pace, when you've got cars around you, you lose a bit of pace, that's where the pace goes. You just you just lose a bit of consistency when you're battling and stuff like that. Oh shit. Uh, no, 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 no. Definitely not, James. Lap time time trial needs to be done. Look, you've got to think about it. How many people are playing in VR, James? How many people are playing in VR? How many play it, want the track guide? Let, for example, we've got... 178 people here now. I bet you if we did a questionnaire, you'd rather most people would rather have the lap guide in non VR because the VR would be look different and it would give you different, it would look different for brake markers. So, 100% for the track guides, they need to be done in non VR, really. Because VR would give you different perspectives on brake markers, and I think it would give you a bit of a false brake marker. So yeah, always do the, the, the lap guides in normal 2D screen, I think. <coughs> yeah. Hopefully this is a bit cleaner than it was last night. We had a good race in the day though, didn't we? We had that really good one that's going to be on the... So for today's um, verdict of the races, there's a brilliant race we had on this. It was absolutely... Br I, I really enjoyed that race we had yesterday on this one. It's a bit of a mixed bag, this race. It can either go either way. It can be really good or it can be absolutely shit. Took that wide line. I didn't mean to go over the line. It was slower anyway. Doesn't matter. I'd already done a lap of one minute. Right, Stan, how are you, mate? Right, don't go over the line. We want to start from the back. that curve there but just don't hit it oh, ah! dead we died by the way chat I forgot about the lights again I, I someone needs to remind me about these we're over 200 though thank you for getting us over 200 likes let's see if we can get it close to 250 before we finish this is going to be the last race by the way 
<clears throat> and then it's video and then we'll do american lobbies later on tonight so we'll do a little three hours of america racing from the back of the grid on daily a b and c should be interesting i think because daily race c should be good from the back i think because there's no pit stop you're gonna have to overtake so it could be quite entertaining um daily race b could be entertaining for the amount of people that die because that track is lethal like driving on i like on ice and daily a could be fun again from the back of the grid so yeah we'll do them on america server tonight but we're gonna do the i'm gonna jump on after i finish this i need to start doing the, the video for the weekly review of these races what i think of them and rate them rate them out of 10 <clears throat> Something I'm going to ask you to do as well when I do the review, by the way, is I'll mention it in the video. I want you to give me a rating for each race as well, what you think for daily A, B, and C. So, like, put it as like A, such and such out of 10, B, such and such out of 10, C, such and such out of 10. And I will totally ignore Pio's comment because I know what he'll do. He would, I know for a fact what's going to happen with Pio, but yeah, I'm interested just to see with the, the variety of what people think and the difference between what people think in the races because. I know for a fact that it's going to be so changeable with what people rate the races. Not in the stream, though. Do it in the video. <laughs> I can't. I, I, I don't think we've ever had a daily race that's 10 out of 10 yet. There's definitely not been a 10 out of 10 race yet and whole, we've ever had. This isn't a 10 out of 10. Definitely not. It's not bad, though. It's good fun. Problem with this is... This race can be a really fun race and definitely could be a good scoring race. But the problem that you have is 50% of your races are going to be full of idiots that just take you out and that will ruin this race a little bit but it does have potential to be fun no i don't think it was Theo. it was a good race but still not a 10 out of 10 that even then even if you like carts you could make it better because there could be I don't know if you can add tire wear on, but like strategy, you can add fuel, so fuel's on. You can have a bit of strategy and stuff like that. There is ways of making it a 10 out of 10. I don't think you can give any any daily, I don't think daily A or B could ever be a 10 out of 10 personally. Purely because they're always just static in terms of times one, times one. And they're very short races. A 10 out of 10 race for me would have to be... Like, say, for example, they added Le Mans and they did a longer race and the, the weather was so changeable that it could go start wet dry out and then you'd have to pit again for wet and then you dry out again it could be you know like multiple and like you'd have to have like eight cars that are usable like so there's so much variety in the racing <coughs> which le mans actually would actually be pretty good now if you did the chicane version of le mans you'd have supra mclaren ferrari viper bayron I'm trying to think if there's a couple of other cars that might be able to hang with the top end um don't know what i don't think the sls could do it but what other cars top end could hang why supra supra's got a good top end retacker man in sixth gear the super strong and if you weren't doing the chicane version the super would be okay Yeah. What do you mean? Why? Literally every track we go to, the Supra's up there is one of the best cars, Rataka. And if you add the Chicane version in, Supra's sixth gear is pretty good. It's only in like fifth gear is not great, but the sixth gear on the Supra's alright. It's not bad at all. Samba bus race. <laughs> I would say, do you know what daily race was a good one? Like, if I was to have rated the... Um, remember the Group B rally race we had at Daily Race A? I'd have gave that a 9 out of 10. If that was to come again, that'd be a 9 out of 10 race up. That was definitely a 9. 100%. Week 1 was 9.5. 9.5 week 1 Daytona when you had the strategy in there. That was a 9.5. I think the dynamic weather races... Spa was probably a 9. Le Mans was probably a 9.5. North Life was probably a 9. I would say. That'd probably be fair ratings. I think the um, Le Mans one was just the most entertaining shit I've ever done because it because it was no chicane. It was just proper banter down the straights. Remember when we like we weren't visible because we 
went into the pit with like the pits backwards and stuff. It was just proper funny that week. You right, Brian, mate? How are you? Right, let's go into this to finish it off with chat. Last race of this morning stream, and then I'm going to jump on and get that video sorted. So I've copied all the files over for the races that we did. I've got the thumbnail done. I've just got to edit the video, commentate on it, which won't take as long as a track guide, thankfully. So th that's one good thing about doing highlights videos of races. It's so much easier to do than track guides. So hopefully I'll have that out on the channel by like maybe like half one, two-ish. And then we'll do like half six stream doing a, or six o'clock stream, half six, something like that, doing American dailies. So yeah, get subscribed if you want to see some chaos later. It's very likely we're going to get some chaos. <coughs> All right. Attack is in. Do we know there's one dirty driver in? It's <laughs> winding the attacker up. Right, let's hope it's a good one. It's a bit of a mixed lobby in here. We've got some A plus at the back, B in between, and an A at the front. Yeah, they, I got took out multiple times, Rataka. Um, I got took out three times on that bomb, which was kind of defeats the object of racing. But I get it if you're having a bit of fun, but it's not very, it's not that much fun taking out people in a go kart. Oh, jump start. P6, P Steve. Oh, we're drifting, we're drifting. Oh, we held it. What gear am I in? Oh, there you go. I was in the... I thought I was in the wrong gear, but we're okay. Got to try and get back used to this go-kart. It's not easy to drive. Definitely need to get on this in VR, I think. It's got to happen. Got to give it a go, haven't we? battle for the lead here chat let's hope this is a good one
It's so much fun, this race, you know. Free wide, this isn't, this is dodgy. Oh, look at that! Oh, such a room! <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Don't bin it, don't bin it, don't bin it! No, no, you can... No! It's not over, it's not over. We can get back. We've got dirty tyres, though. What a pleb. Good racing as well. We need someone to bin it at the front, really, or battle hard. They're all in a line now, so uh, they're probably not going to fight too much. Parts with dynamic weather on those like. Ah, that was going so well, that race as well. What a donkey. Hello, on the set. Then and the car just went weird. It might have been the curb. Maybe it was the curb. I don't know. <laughs> All over the place. What a donkey! It started so well and then it went so bad. Hey, we're all right once we get going, Theo. First race on, this is not easy to drive, this go-kart, so. <coughs> First race on, you gotta get used to the steering inputs, but um, we'll do more of these later, because this is, we're only doing one race here anyway. got time to feel me I need to get the video done so no sorry might be faster there, you know. I'm on a good lap here. <laughs> oh, damn, somebody did a 58 one. I was just trying to get the fastest. <laughs> Did a 58.5 with going rallying. Feels like this is all about stopping it drift so much. Just that's why that counter steer is needed. Just <coughs> hey, we still got 58.5. That's the best lap I've done so far. 
in the race. <laughs> Trying to figure out the last corner whether to just stay in fifth or go into the sixth. I think it might be better just to like feather the fifth gear. So just don't go into sixth and just feather it through. Like we'll try it now. So let it get into the corner and then just feather the throttle a bit. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it, isn't it? Then go into sixth as you come out of it. Alright, but that chat, that is the last race of the stream. Um, appreciate you all coming in today. Thank you so much for all the gifted memberships, by the way, you legends. Appreciate you doing that. Um, I'm going to go and get the weekly review video done now. So, yeah, I'm going to do the weekly review video. Get that on the channel. And then later on tonight, chat, we're back live for more live racing. But we're going to go over to America tonight. And we're going to go racing from the back of the grid on daily race A, B and C. Probably start off with C. And then we'll finish with an A. And we might throw in a B in there somewhere. So, yeah, hopefully see you all in a couple of hours. Well, I say a couple of hours. Probably going to be about six, half six when we do it. So in about six hours, I'll see you all for another stream. But I'm going to get this video on the channel. Give it a few hours to get some momentum. And yeah, I want to keep doing these every single Tuesday. as like a, a video that's always out on a Tuesday. So you lot, you know, know it's happening. But yeah, make sure when you do, if you do watch the video today, make sure you give me them ratings of what you think for Daily Race A, B and C. Because I'm going to ask you in the video as well. So um, let me get on with that now. Appreciate you all coming in today. Hopefully you had fun. We drove very well in Daily Race C, to be fair. Our pace really improved on Daily, C, Daily Race C. So pretty happy with that but um yeah i'm gonna jump and get started now on this video so back to work get the editing done do the commentary then i'm gonna run the gym pick the missus up i think my mom's coming today as well i'm gonna have to message her see what time so i'm gonna have to figure out where i can fit this all in and then um back live again later on for uh, more racing so see you all then take care thank you for coming in smash the like button on your way out and i'll see you all in a few hours everyone see you in a bit bye Thank you.